It's Wednesday night, and I'm kind of bored. Tomorrow I'm picking up a, another tractor, and I figured I'd come out here and see what's going on in the old shed. Maybe do a cold start on the GT6000. As you can see the, uh, the Cub Cadet 3165 is now gone. Uh, we just have the Regent back there and the Legacy XL and the MTD back there. So not a lot, not a lot going on. There's the Ford hasn't run in a year and a half. Need to get that running one of these days. Uh, it did run and died, and so I don't know if it's got bad fuel, or I just need to clean the points up a little bit. Well, I'm sure it's got bad fuel now, uh, but I might need just need to clean the points and put a little fresh fuel in it and see what happens. But uh, for right now, she's not running. Wet tire back there. Can't really see it that well, but it's. Definitely getting flat. Probably need to take the tires off of uh, the MTD and send it to the junkyard. All of the back tires are probably pretty much junk. Uh, see, they're, they're actually bald on the side. That is so weird. How the heck do you get bald tires on the rear like that? <clears throat> but, uh,. I don't know, maybe I'll take the tires off, maybe I won't, who knows. This tire is still holding air. Looks like the other tire is probably not. Nope, it's definitely not. Two rear tires look fine in terms of holding air. The right rear doesn't look as bald on the outside as the other one does. That's just really weird, the left one being bald like that. <clears throat> and, uh, got this Honda motor. I don't know if I uh, mentioned it before. Now this thing did run, it's uh, a Regent. Uh, with a Honda. 16 horsepower Honda V-Twin. And picked it up, it wasn't starting because the battery was dead and bad gas or whatever. I got it home, crank, 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 nothing happened. And finally the last time, last try, I'm like, all right, I'm going to try it one more time and it fires up. It started one more time since then, and then after that I tried it, it wouldn't wouldn't fire. So I don't know. Seems like no spark. I checked for spark. I mean, this was a month ago. I was messing with this and just kind of pushed it to the side. So yeah, no spark as far as I can tell. And to get to any of the wiring, it's behind the fuel tank. Any of that stuff. So to take the shroud off. Take the shroud off to get to any of the 
to change the the module, whatever you call it. I can't think of it right now. Um, you know, it's it's tucked underneath that uh, gas tank, so you got to take all that out. It's tucked in there good. So that's that. I've been holding on to this thing for so long. It's a 12 horse flathead Briggs. Got about 45 pounds of compression. Still runs. It'd probably run a 36 inch deck uh, halfway decent. I know I actually had it uh, on a tractor that had a 36 inch deck and it uh, actually cut. But if you got anything really, really deep or, you know, it, would, it definitely wanted to bog down. But. That's still usable, I guess. I don't know. I tried to sell it for, I think, I don't know, 50, 75 with the tractor and no takers. So there's that. Probably just needs new rings, but of course I'm not doing that. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if you guys saw the, the weight set up on the back of this Craftsman. Just a bracket attached to the back of the tractor here. You can see back there two attach points there and two attach points on the other side. And of course all these weights. The bottom one is is really heavy. I don't know. It's probably 50 pounds. And then all these other ones are about 12 and a half pounds it looks like. Twelve and a half. I'm sure they're all the same after that. They're all pretty much the same size. The one on the bottom is all cracked and coming apart. <clears throat> so that's what's going on. Uh, I could clean the clean the desk off here, the the workbench, but uh, uh, that's not happening as of yet. <laughs> um, got it. 7.49, it's simplicity time, on Wednesday night. Some liquid wrench here that I picked up a couple weeks ago. Put that up here with the rest of it. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, I bought these. Cable ties. Uh, those are those. And I guess there's just oh, there's some more goodies in here. This is really exciting stuff here tonight. Come out. Carbon choke cleaner. Put that up there. Spike plugs, nope. just bags, that's garbage. Uh, I think I showed you guys this before. This is my new ratchet strap. It was on sale at Farm and Fleet. <clears throat> so I'm gonna put that in action one of these days. of the old uh, lights that were on the trailer. What I really want to do is uh, clear this little spot out between the garage door and the, and the entry door there. Clear out that spot right there so basically I can kind of work on a tractor right there. It's a nice little spot. The tractor is relatively small. Kind of put it there, work on it. It's close to the bench. Uh, and um, just kind of put the tractor that I'm currently working on there uh, and go from there. But I haven't done that yet. Put the grill inside since I have so much room in here lately. I have to clean out that corner a little bit better. A uh, bunch of chains on the, on the wall.
That's about what's going on, I guess. Not a whole lot. Not really motivated here tonight. Do much anything. I got the trailer hooked up. Be ready for tomorrow morning. Yeah, that's about it. I guess maybe I can just do a quick little uh, cold start in this uh, GT 6000. Just for the fun of it. Battery's dying, so we'll see how much. See if I actually get any more video out of this. Um, I don't know if I've. Uh, yeah, I did show you guys the, the starter on this. Uh, did that whole video. But we'll do a cold start on this. It's been. I don't know how many days. I'll give us some choke. Clutch in. I'm going to leave the throttle down. Of course, I didn't touch the muffler, so it's not official. about 30 out right now, it's not too cold. But that's all we have for now, thanks for watching.